Here we are on the beautiful Hudson River at Germantown. Doing some water quality science from kayak. There are the CLC, Columbia Land Conservancy staff and volunteers on the shore. And I'm gonna to attempt to do a little turbidity testing from my kayak here. We've got all the supplies. Gonna try the original Secchi disc just to uh, put it to the test, named after Dr. Secchi. Um, and you can probably see that that circle with the two different colors on it gets lowered into the water and you lower it until you can't see anymore. You can't see the difference between black and white anymore. And that gives you an indication of how cloudy or turbid the water is. Um, but you can tell that something dangling off a boat on a string can be tugged by the current. So um, people have invented other ways to test turbidity. Here's one. It's called a turbidity tube, and you can see generally the same secchi disc at the bottom there, but you can bring the water to the secchi disc and not have current affecting it. Okay. Okay. The key here is not to lose any equipment while floating out in the kayak. Okay. I'm going to get, well, before the bucket, I'm going to try out the real secchi disc first. And... I believe we have this string measured with little ticks, meaning feet. So that'll tell us the turbidity in terms of how many feet down light can penetrate. Something like that. Okay, I've got the Secchi Disc rope tangled with the Secchi Disc turbidity tube. There we go, turbidity tube. Your time comes later. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna lower this down into the water. And for me, it's starting to disappear. It's probably not that deep here, even though I'm pretty far from shore. I, and also, if I lean over too much, I might fall in or get wetter. Um, but for me, I believe the Secchi disc has sort of disappeared from view. I'm going to call that the depth at which light can go. So I'm going to remember about two inches past this tick to one foot, two feet, three feet, four feet. I'm going to call that four feet, two inches to where the Secchi disc disappeared. All right. Nice CLC on the bottom there. All right. Now, this turbidity tube uh, works a little differently, and so when keeping track of your data, you would uh, not compare your turbidity tube data to your secchi disc data because this is in a tube that lets light in from all directions, so you can only compare turbidity tube data to turbidity tube data unless you have some sort of conversion. All right. You know what? Rather than transfer water from bucket to turbidity tube, I'm just going to stick to turbidity tube in. Presumably paddling through here I could stir up the turbidity, but in general the water all around me is about as turbid as it's going to be. I've noticed I've drifted here. Okay, so can I be above this while I empty it? The idea here is you shouldn't be able to see the secchi disc through here, but I can already see it. So the water is not that turbid, but the way you would use this is if you started without being able to see it, you would release water out through this tube until you could see it. And then you'd look at how high the water was on this little measuring stick part here. All right, so a little introduction to turbidity testing. Why turbidity? Uh, because the cloudiness of the water might tell us something about how much runoff there's been, how much storm water, um, how well fish and other creatures can see in the water, um, and uh, yeah, generally how many leaves have decomposed and run off into the water too. So it's not um, 
a perfect indicator of river health on its own. A brown looking river is not necessarily dirty, but it does tell us a little bit about what's going on in the river. So that's why we test turbidity. Thanks for watching. Check the next video.